Hello and welcome to Green Healing, where we discuss alternative and natural healing from abuse and CPTSD. Today, I'm very excited to talk about the emotional scale, which has helped me understand my emotions a lot better and has helped me through my healing journey. It also helped me understand my symptoms tremendously, especially when it I happen to be feeling on top of the world and then in, because of a trigger and an emotional flashback, I fall all the way down to the bottom of the scale and I feel like crap, basically. When you fall down the scale, you feel emotionally squashed. I feel emotionally squashed, flattened. I didn't just fall from the top of the stairs, but literally skipped any other step that could happened to have helped that I could have gripped myself on and landed all the way at the bottom. That's how it feels at times. I learned about the emotional scales from the book Ask and It Is Given by Esther and Jerry Hicks. They explained that our emotions are indicators of our vibration frequency. They state that when you are in absolute alignment with your own source energy, it means you know the following, and I quote, you are free, you are powerful, you are good, you are love, you have value, you have purpose, all is well, end quote. Shout out to our friend at The Conscious Resistance, Derek Bros, with his slogan, you are powerful, you are beautiful, you are free. Esther and Jerry Hicks explained that the key is to recognize where you are on the emotional scale. Because sometimes you'll be somewhere and then like that, do, 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 and then you have to slowly get yourself back up. But sometimes you feel like you're in a funk and you're there, kind of stuck there for days, like in a boredom funk or something like that. And so you identify where you are to get out of that funk. They explain that usually when you drop lower on the scale, it's one step at a time. I swear I skip steps. Maybe I don't realize that it's one step at a time, but for me, it feels sometimes that I'm skipping all the steps in between from where I was to where I land. Maybe I'm not fully aware yet of the steps I'm skipping, so maybe that's that's a step-by-step -step process. <laughs> it's probably because it happens so fast that I'm not aware of it. That's probably because of the intensity and speed at which I fell. The velocity of the emotional flashback, as uh, I think I just invented. Esther and Jerry Hicks acknowledge that some words mean a few different things for some people. So if you don't connect with one of the words for one of the steps in the scale to focus on the next step up or to simply connect to the next higher level feeling. If you're wanting to go one step up, you have to, they explain you have to focus on the next step up, but you can't go from one, from 10 to one. You have to go from 10 to nine and then nine to eight, eight to seven, but if you don't, if you're not connecting with the word, you know, from eight to seven, if you're not connecting with the words at seven, just the energy of it. What I do also is I add my own words that feel that energy around that level. And so I'm able to better connect with those emotions with that level of the scale. The scale is comprised of 22 steps. One is the top and 22 is the bottom. There are more positive steps, feel good steps, there's the middle tier, and then there's the bottom tier of emotions, like uh, the icky yucky emotions. Obviously, I've added some of my own words to the scale, and you can do the same. I will share the scale, and I've added asterisks for the ones I have personally added. Number one, joy, knowledge, empowerment, freedom, love, appreciation, peace, serenity, feeling amused, confidence, feeling good sexually. For me, the feeling good sexually is important. It's number one because of all the sexual abuse that I endured. 
if you've suffered a specific type of abuse and certain very debilitating types of emotional flashbacks, whatever is the complete opposite of that, that makes you really, really feel good, that will go there as well. Number two, passion, determination, motivation. Three, enthusiasm, eagerness, happiness. Four, positive expectation, belief, faith. Five, optimism. Six, hopefulness, reassurance. Seven, contentment, forgiveness. Eight, boredom, dullness. Nine, pessimism, indecision. Ten, frustration, irritation, impatience. Eleven, overwhelmment, stress. Twelve, disappointment. Thirteen, doubt. Fourteen, worry. Fifteen, blame. Sixteen, discouragement, melancholy. Seventeen, anger. Eighteen, revenge. Nineteen, hatred, rage. Twenty, jealousy, envy. Twenty-one, insecurity, guilt, unworthiness, anxiety, panic. Twenty-two, fear, grief, depression, despair, powerlessness, hopelessness, shame. There is a lot more to get from the book than just the scale and what I've explained in this video and from that specific chapter in the book in particular. So I'll put a link to the book in the description below if you're interested in going in more depth. It's definitely worth uh, getting the book. Obviously, I hope my analysis and explanation will be enough of an overview to help you along if you want to just explore the basic stuff, the basic steps that I explained in this video. I would like to close this episode of Green Healing with another Healing Through Humor capsule narration from one of the capsules that I wrote several years ago. Capsule 14, The Emotional Scale. Me. It's nice to feel good for a change. Husband, I'm glad to hear it. Later, husband, oh dear, you forgot your toast. I'm afraid it burnt me. No, I'm such a failure. I'm never making toast again. Husband, well, it's okay. It's just toast. Me, no, it's not okay. It doesn't feel okay. It's not just toast. It's so much more. Husband, it's really okay. Me, I feel so bad, as usual. Hopefully this video, uh, what I've shared can help you, you know, f when you're feeling low, hopefully can help you move along and feel better, especially when experiencing emotional flashbacks. Share this video with whomever you feel it will benefit. And as always, empower yourself and be emotionally free.